This is Twit. The Justice Department released what was sort of a press release that got picked up by a number of magazines, and I don't get it. Um, this was on Friday, uh, the 11th. Uh, they, they, they said uh, that the Justice Department has reported that CryptoLocker has been neutralized by the disruption of its network and cannot communicate with the infrastructure used to control the malicious software. As a result, CryptoLocker is effectively non-functional and unable to encrypt newly infected computers. Now, part of that I understand because we do know that even if you're infected with CryptoLocker, no encryption can take place until CryptoLocker is able to access a key server and, and, uh, and, uh, and obtain the, the public key, um, which it then uses for generating a key such that that server holds the private key and you have to pay them in order to, 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 to get at, for, to, for it to decrypt the symmetric key, which is used for encrypting all your files. So if the infrastructure is shut down, then crypt, and if that's true, then CryptoLocker, even new infections, cannot take action, essentially. They're, they're reaching out and trying to, to get to their infrastructure, which the Justice Department is claiming is, has been shut down. Um, so I have not been able to, to find any further evidence of this. Uh, SC Magazine, the, the IT you know, security magazine, reported that in its nine months of existence, the CryptoLink ransomware extorted more than $27 million from victims. Of course, we've often covered CryptoLocker and the variations of it and Bitcoin and, and you know, was it what, Western Union? Or no, it was uh, something that like that you could buy in a store and they were like out of them because of the CryptoLocker uh, infections were so prevalent. Um, uh, and this is Bit Bitdefender's uh, analysis, uh, having watched this, and they're, they're the guys that were the original discoverers uh, and and who mapped the uh, CryptoLocker network. Uh, and apparently, CryptoLocker saw more than 12,000 victims in less than a week as it was initially spread through phishing email. So, um, even, even the Bitdefender guys said that while while it's you know maybe nice that crypto locker that like the existing infection has been disrupted and cannot get a hold of its uh, infrastructure, anything that makes twenty seven million dollars for bad guys in nine months uh, is going to be well. We've already seen some clones of it, but but they're expecting variations on crypto locker that will avoid whatever has been done in order to, to disrupt their network. So uh, I, I think this we need to consider this is a maybe a brief respite from crypto locker and uh, we have not seen the end of it.